Google has a big secret. A few days back, they showed us the impressive capabilities of their new AI called Gemini. Is it really a GPT killer? Is there even a future for ChatGPT or will Google take over completely? Let's brush aside all smart words like multimodality and see what it can really do. Here's what you need to know before we start testing the model. Google has shown us three different model sizes, all under the umbrella of Gemini 1.0, Nano, Pro and Ultra. Ultra is the largest and most capable with the largest feature set. Pro is the best model for scalable applications and Nano is the smallest one created for on-device tasks. Gemini Nano is already rolling out on Google Pixel smartphones and Pro is already at the core of Google Bard. And we are gonna test it. As for Gemini Ultra, this is by far the most interesting one of the bunch. According to Google tests, Gemini Ultra is the highest scoring AI model that exceeds current state-of-the-art results on 30 of the 32 benchmarks. If we look at the table with results, we will see that Gemini is better than GPT-4 in all categories except one. Gemini answers questions better, has improved reasoning capabilities, comprehends the text with more precision, does math with more accurate results, and even codes better. This benchmark data looks really promising especially if we look at the results of media testing. Here, Gemini again outperforms GPT-4. Somewhere the margin is bigger, somewhere narrower, but in all conducted tests, Gemini was doing a better job. What's especially interesting to me is not the text and writing capabilities that got improved. I am more psyched about new abilities with images, videos, and audio. This ability to work with images, video, and audio is at the core of Gemini's training. That's why comparing it to GPT is so important. I will say multimodal once, okay? So Gemini uses a multimodal training method meaning it's trained on a massive data set of text, audio, images, video, and computer code simultaneously. This allows it to understand and reason about information from various sources, making it more versatile in handling complex tasks. GPT-4, on the other hand, is trained primarily on text data, which limits its ability to comprehend and utilize information from other modalities. While GPT excels in text-based tasks like generating creative text formats and summarizing factual topics, it may struggle with tasks that require understanding and processing images. This difference in training methodology gives them different powers, basically. Gemini's training and overall capabilities make it a more versatile and potentially groundbreaking LLM compared to GPT. While GPT excels in text-based tasks, Gemini's ability to handle multimedia data really opens up new possibilities. Now let me just fire up Gemini and show you a few things. As I already mentioned, right now the public has access only to Gemini Pro, with Gemini Ultra coming next year. And although Gemini Pro isn't as advanced and almighty as Gemini Ultra, it is still capable of some things that you just cannot do with GPT. So I'm gonna start with something simple and ask Bart what AI model it is using right now. The answer is simple. Gemini, but it doesn't really say which one exactly, so let's ask that. Which Gemini exactly? And whoa, Gemini Ultra. That's not possible. Maybe there is some kind of mistake. Let's clarify whether it's really Gemini Ultra and not Gemini Pro. And would you look at that? It uses Gemini Pro. This doesn't give me all that optimism and shock that I was expecting, but you know, this is just simple chatting. Can Bard explain how this Gemini Pro is better than other models? Okay, training, faster processing, improved reasoning, creativity, better accuracy and nuance. This sounds like a lot. Basically, this is a summary of everything I told you before. So let's take it to another level and ask whether Bard can solve math problems now, because this was one of the benchmarks that Google used to show how great it is. Well, apparently it can. For this test, I have prepared a couple of images. The first one has three different tasks, each with three subtasks inside. I want Gemini to solve at least something. So I will upload this photo and ask to solve it. After a little bit of waiting, the result is negative. Somehow Gemini decided to read only part of this uploaded image, only the stuff in the middle, and said that it's impossible to solve it. I think if it was a clear image, it would have been easier for Gemini to solve, but okay. 
I have a handwritten solution to one math problem. Let's ask whether it is correct. Now Gemini has no problems with reading all of that stuff, even the handwritten text, and it concludes that the equation is correct for this one. I know that it is correct, so Gemini passes this test, but I still want to make it more interesting. That's why I have a fully handwritten document that has a mistake in it. But can Gemini find the mistake? So I'm gonna ask, is this correct? Now it seems like Gemini has some problems with reading all of that. It gives a very strange equation and concludes that everything in the photo is correct, but I know for sure that it isn't. So let's rephrase the question and ask whether there is a mistake. And now we're talking. This looks more like the explanation. Though the equations are written in this weird format, which is really strange, because Bart never had any issues with proper formatting. I will ask Bart to solve it for me, which will result in exactly that, a solution. Weirdly formatted again, but I can ask to write it in such a way that I could write it myself. This version is a little bit better, but still not perfect. I think this is not my lucky day. It seems like in terms of solving math problems, and properly read in text, we still have to wait for that Gemini Ultra to go live. So what Bard can do now is already impressive, but this is not everything I wanted to try. I want to properly test how good Gemini is at understanding images. So let's ask Bard to compare two breakfasts. Wait, I cannot upload more than one photo at once? Well, that's a bummer. Well, then I will upload them one by one, explaining to Gemini how to refer to each one, Okay, two images are uploaded, so let's ask which one of these two breakfast is the healthiest. How would a person act in this case? He will look at all the ingredients and try to identify the approximate number of calories. If Gemini is as good as Google claims, it will do the same thing. And as I am looking at the results, I can say that I'm shocked. Our first breakfast was this really unhealthy one with sausages, fat, and eggs. And Gemini did a really good job at identifying the individual ingredients of each breakfast. Here is what he says. Eggs, avocado, tomatoes, and bacon, and all of this is present in the image. And you know what's really impressive? It managed to calculate the number of calories for each breakfast. Apparently, all those sausages and eggs in the first breakfast were only 300 calories, and much healthier avocado and tomatoes only 250. I do like how detailed this explanation is, but let's throw in another breakfast image. Which one is better now? Again, for Gemini, it is not a problem to correctly identify all the ingredients, such as uh, granola, fruits, yogurt, all this stuff. Apparently, this breakfast has even less calories, only 200. I must say, this is mighty impressive. I think I have never seen AI so good at identifying objects and giving informed conclusions. And of course, I can do the simplest thing and ask how I can make the first breakfast healthier. For Bart, this is not a problem, and the result is done in less than a couple of seconds. It will even calculate how many calories will the new breakfast be. This is truly something. Now I want to take a little break from analyzing images and do some simple text-based stuff. Google says Gemini is better at understanding, so can it guess a movie based on a vague description of its plot? All right, a group of unlikely heroes brought together by a shared destiny on a perilous quest to save their world from an ancient evil that threatens to plunge them into eternal darkness. Can you guess what movie is that? I know a lot of movies fit this description, but I still want to see what Bard comes up with. Okay, it gave me five suggestions, and one of them, The Lord of the Rings, is exactly what I was thinking about. And it's the first one on the list, so I count it as a job well done. How about uh, we bring back images and ask it to guess the song? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm thinking about Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. So as a first image, I will upload this blind man, and as a second one, Christmas Lights. This should be pretty easy, right? Bard thinks this is strange. Ring Lights by Billy Strings. This time it doesn't want to analyze two images together, so I think this is only 50% of what I wanted. Let's remind it to take two images into account. No, not this time. And if we give it a hint, now it thinks that the song is Star Boy. I think this is one way to put it. There is the image of a boy and the lights kind of look like stars, but maybe the image of a clearly blind man will help. 
and now it doesn't. Now it just refuses to work with the images of people. Right now, I'd say the image recognition has been only 50% of what Google advertised it to be. There are still shortcomings that Bard and Gemini cannot overcome, but all those images were pretty complex. So I have something simpler in mind. Let's play Hangman. And please know that I'm purposefully using the incorrect name of the game, hoping that Bard can figure it out based on the image. And no, it doesn't. It understood that there was a stick man on the page Paper, but four lines at the bottom didn't help a bit. Maybe it's been my fault, I should have been clear in my drawings. No problem, I can always update the prompt. Now it says Hangman, as it should. Just to make things extremely clear, I will ask Bard to once again look at the image. So what's the first letter going to be? B, how interesting, that fits. Let's uh, draw it and upload an updated image. The next letter guessed is E and it's incorrect. Also, Gemini mistook my spelling mistake as a letter, which shouldn't have happened if it was as advanced as I hope. But you know, my expectations are always higher than they should be. With the updated image, it seems like I have fried the brains of Gemini and it resets the game. Yeah, now what I was expecting. But I'm still not done with my testing. Now I drew two circles on a piece of paper. How accurate will Gemini be? You see that the circles are far apart from each other, right? Here's what Bard sees. Circles overlapping. Top circle is slightly larger than the bottom circle. Do I need to continue? Let's finish the drawing and upload another version. Now it sees a car. However, I feel like it comes up with details because Gemini mentions the proportions, details, shading and so on. There's nothing like that in the photo. So just to be sure, I'm going to ask again whether it uses Gemini Pro. And apparently it still does. Well, at least it can still do basic text things like writing a funny review for the movie in a certain style or doing it in Japanese. I feel like from the text-based perspective, Bard is much better than the free version of ChatGPT 3.5. It's better with words and it's just as quick with its responses. But let me give Gemini one more try. I'm gonna upload this image of a paper airplanes and ask which one is the fastest. This image is an easy one because it has text on it, making it super easy for Gemini to just search the web for information about each type of paper airplane. And the response is well informed and well written. So I will take it to the next level and upload a similar image, but without any text. And here it has surprisingly no issues at identifying the fastest one. I think Gemini Pro needs a bit more testing before I make a final conclusion on whether it is a worthy competitor to ChatGPT. And early next year, Gemini also Ultra will become available to the public and that I hope we're gonna see something special. By the way, to demonstrate all the power of Gemini Ultra, Google made a series of videos and this one is really impressive. Here, Gemini Ultra can accurately identify objects and drawings. It can see that the piece of paper is empty, then it clearly sees a squiggly line, after that the line turns into a duck and for Gemini it's an easy job to guess what it is. Here it plays a geographic game, guess the country with a person who points at areas of the map in real time. Visual puzzles, it can do that too. It can see what people are doing with the hands and identifies everything. Gemini Ultra can also nail a pretty difficult task of finding similarities and making connections. This video clearly shows that Gemini can do this no worse than a regular person and that is not even the craziest part because for minutes into the video, Google shows us reasoning. Gemini not only understands was drawn, but thinks and analyzes it like a human would. Look, it can watch the videos for you and understand what's happening. Feeling excited right now? Mazed, maybe? Well, hold your horses. All of this apparently is fake. That said, I just got excited. And there's even a cool demonstration of Gemini's new coding abilities. This one doesn't inspire confidence. I hope at least this video with Mark Rober, where he tests Gemini Pro and Bart with giant paper airplanes is real. But can Gemini outplay ChatGPT 5 when it gets released? Tough question. It all depends on how OpenAI plays it. Gemini Ultra was trained on a data set of over 175 trillion words, which is significantly larger than the data set that ChatGPT 4 was trained on. So OpenAI would have 
to use far more data to overcome Google's creation. And right now, Gemini Ultra has access to more data to learn from, which gives it an edge in terms of accuracy and fluency. And also, OpenAI would have to train GPT-5 on different types of data, just like Google did. They will need text, code, images, and audio and video. Only then, GPT-5 will be able to understand and generate more complex and nuanced responses than GPT-4 and Gemini. And GPT-5 would have to use a different architecture. There have been a few leaks and we recently made a video dedicated to GPT-5 and everything we know, so be sure to check it out. It's hard right now to properly assess the importance of Gemini Pro and Ultra. Gemini Ultra can be a very powerful LLM with the potential to outperform GPT-5 when it gets released in a variety of tasks. Even now it can do some mighty impressive stuff and I'm gonna test the hell out of it for you in the future videos. So be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.